Hadar was killed on August 1st uh, during Tsukaitan. It was two hours after the ceasefire was declared and Hamas violated this fire, a ceasefire and ambushed Hadar unit, killed three uh, soldiers and kidnapped Hadar's body into the uh, tunnels deep into Gaza. Now, uh, this is fire was, was actually brokered by uh, Ban Ki-moon, the general secretary of the UN, and John Kerry, the secretary of state of the US, United States. So uh, what we learned since then is that Hadar is actually a, a, a victim of a ceasefire rather than a victim of a war. And uh, since um, uh, the United States and the UN brokered this, this ceasefire, they should be accountable for their return, or at least be res responsible to assist in their return. And uh, we are looking forward to the new administration and, uh, and uh, Mr. Trump, Mr. President Trump, that uh, will be very helpful in bringing Qatar back home and show the whole world that the same America and the same um, um, great America that try to achieve ceasefire all over the world actually takes responsibility on that ceasefire and the consequences of this ceasefire and assist in return Adar uh, back to the, their family for a decent burial according to our Jewish values. We're thankful for this gathering here in the Knesset uh, today. I think the, the fact that tens of tens of uh, of members of the Knesset uh, came here to show their solidarity, to give their views of what should be done to bring Hadar home, and especially for the ask of their ask for forgiveness of the two and a half years of uh, sitting aside and uh, waiting while Hamas is holding uh, the bodies of my brother Hadar only an hour and a half from where, where I'm standing. Uh, in Gaza. Uh, I think I can say that today the words are very strengthening. I think the members of the Knesset uh, are strengthened from the capacity of people who came here, hmm? who came here to, uh, to show their solidarity and I hope that words will become actions and actions will bring to results. I also, we also mentioned, and it was also mentioned quite a bit, that there's uh, an opportunity to flip the equation and uh, to, to, to make a change, uh, especially now when the new administration in, uh, in the US, the Trump administration is uh, starting the, its first steps. Um, I've been to the UN and we've been all over the world and we can see that uh, the international society is looking for uh, solutions for acts of barbaric acts of terrorism and uh, I think this new administration will will support this uh, these acts and uh, there's this opportunity should be seized by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu as soon as possible.